Hello everyone, welcome back to my new video. In this video, I am giving more information about top 5 best smartphones. I made this list based on their price, quality, durability and more. To find out more information about this product, you can check out the description below and also make sure you subscribe for more review. Okay so let's get started with the video. Starting at number 5, Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. If Apple's iOS isn't your cup of tea, Samsung still leads the pack for the most popular and best smartphones in the Android world. The company's latest flagship, the Galaxy S10 Plus, is an outstanding Android phone that checks all the right boxes. First, Samsung has packed in Qualcomm's ultra-fast 8-core Snapdragon 855 processor, plus 8GB of RAM and up to 512GB of internal storage. You not only get wireless charging but Samsung's new PowerShare feature as well, delivering wireless power to other Qi-compatible devices. The gorgeous 6.4-inch AMOLED screen boasts a QHD Plus resolution of 3040 by 1440 with a pixel density of 526 pixels per inch and a new hole-punch design for the front camera that allows for an edge-to-edge -edge display. Moving on number 4, iPhone 11 Pro. The iPhone is one of the most popular cell phones and some might argue the best smartphone. The new iPhone 11 Pro gains a triple lens camera system, and while that's not a new idea, Apple has combined the three cameras, a 26mm wide angle f, 1.8, a 13mm ultra wide angle f, 2.4, and a telephoto f, 2.0, all of which are 12 megapixel shooters, with its A13 Bionic chips, neural engine, to provide computational photography features that make these cameras much greater than the sum of their parts, as borne out in our testing, Apple new night mode lets you take great and natural looking pictures in very low light. Deep Fusion, on the other hand, blends multiple photos together, pixel by pixel, choosing the best parts of each. On top of that, you now get 4K, 60fps video recording with extended dynamic range and a smooth optical zoom that seamlessly transitions between all three lenses without missing a beat. At Number 3, Google Pixel 4. Google's Pixel 4 has some of the tightest integration that you'll find in any Android smartphone, since of course Google makes both the hardware and the software, giving it the advantage of ensuring that everything works seamlessly. This also means that you get a pure Android, experience-free clutter and always ready for the latest updates. With Android 10 naturally built in right out of the box, the Pixel 4 also includes extremely advanced support for Google Assistant, letting you easily call it up to not only do things like sending messages and checking the weather forecast, but also control phone features and even take selfies. Cool new gesture controls also let you interact with the Pixel 4 in a way that feels almost magical, and the new Secure Face Unlock feature gives Apple's Face ID a serious run for its money. At Number 2. OnePlus 7 Pro. A couple of years ago, OnePlus arrived on the scene seemingly out of nowhere with a determination to challenge the established players in the smartphone market, and now the scrappy little underdog is back to challenge the big boys again with the OnePlus 7 Pro, which offers some seriously great specs and one of the best designs we've seen in an Android phone, with a glass and metal-infused frame and an edge-to-edge -edge screen that is devoid of any notches, the OnePlus 7 Pro boasts solid battery life and an amazing 6.5-inch QHD plus 3 3120 by 1440 pixel OLED screen with a 516 pixels per inch density and a 90 Hz refresh rate. The triple lens camera system on the rear includes a 48 MP sensor on the main shooter plus an 8 MP telephoto lens and a 16 MP wide angle. Despite the lack of notches on the front, there's also a 16 MP selfie camera. And finally at number 1 iPhone 11 Pro Max The iPhone 11 Pro Max is the ultimate flagship of Apple's current lineup, bringing all of the great features of Apple's iPhone 11 Pro to the big screen. While both of Apple's Pro models have the same specs under the hood, it's hard to argue that bigger is better, especially when it comes to the gorgeous new Super Retina XDR display that Apple has put in this year, as well as the sleek stainless steel and glass design. 
At 6.5 inches, Apple's new display provides a stunning 2 million to 1 contrast ratio, up to 1200 nits of brightness when viewing HDR content, and a 2688 by 1242 pixel resolution at a triple density of 458 pixels per inch. There's also Apple's True Tone display with a P3 wide color gamut, which means you're getting unsurpassed color accuracy for your photos and videos regardless of the surrounding lighting conditions. Thank you for watching guys, I hope you like this video. If this video was helpful to you, please make sure a like, comment, subscribe.